Hi, this is American Button Machines with a print shop essentials tutorial for making a 2.25 inch round button. You're going to first download our template from the American Button Machines website and open it up in the projects folder of print shop essentials. And you'll see that this is what you get when you open our template. Now, a couple of things to become familiar with is this outside circle and the inside circle. These are really important. The inner circle is what will actually show up when you print your button and press it. The outside circle is the things that will get clipped off after you create your button. So anything outside the inner circle will not be seen when people are looking at your button. So let's just make sure we keep everything inside the inside circle. Now we're going to do a football themed pen today. So we are going to actually import a football photo and then overlay text of the team name on top of that. To insert the photo, we are going to go up to the top, click on insert from file, and this is the photo that we want to use, so we're going to click Open. Now the photo is a little large, so first let's send it to the back so we can see how large we need it. Um, send to back. Now we have both circles on. Now we're going to resize this photo to meet the edges of the outside circle. a little too big so let's keep going till it meets the edges a little smaller and you can use the arrow keys to nudge it now this looks good because it's laying completely inside our circle now anything again that's inside the inner circle will be seen um, after the button is pressed so Make sure that you don't cut off anything too important. Now we're going to go over to our text tools options and insert a headline. It'll create this pop-up box and you're going to go type in your text here. We're going to do our team name, the Vikings, and we're going to use a ready-made template for our headline. So We're going to go through all of these and choose the one that you like the best. We're going to go with this one right here because it looks good. We're going to click OK. And obviously, this is too large to fit inside of our button. So we're going to hold down the Shift key. And we're going to just slowly drag until it fits inside the inner circle. Now, when you're selecting your text, you can choose any of these, or you can do a customized headline, which will let you choose the gradient, the shape, position, outline, shadow, depth, and the proportion. Now, we're going to stick with the, the ready-made headline for this. Now, unclick. Now you'll see that the button is ready to print, but first we're going to get rid of this guide here because we don't want this black outline to print on our button. So we're going to select it by clicking on the line, and then go up to Edit and Delete, and now you see the button is ready to print.